Welcome into the Will Muschamp Show. The Gamecocks win the 2016 opener in dramatic fashion. Go on the road in Nashville, down 10 0. All kind of problems in the first half. Get some defensive stops, find a way to tie it up, and then Elliott Fry kicks a career long 55 yard field goal, and the Gamecocks hold on to win 13 10. And oh, by the way, it just happened to be the opener and the win, the first win for Will Muschamp. Coach, congratulations. On the road, that dramatic fashion, it showed a lot of guts to your team. There's no doubt. You can't coach guts. You can't coach relentless attitude uh, to keep fighting in the game. And we did some really dumb things early on and, and just really self-inflicted wounds that really hurt us, but they kept fighting through that. And we, we preach in our program about 60 minutes, about relentless effort, about relentless toughness and discipline and everything that we do. And you saw a lot of that tonight with our football team. I can't tell you how proud I am of and our and our fan base. Unbelievable. We outnumbered Vanderbilt here in Nashville, and that was awesome. I know it felt great for your first win overall, but particularly your team had stubbed your toe in the first half. What happened? I think there were six penalties, two turnovers. What did you talk to them about at half? Because you cleaned it up in the second half. I told them exactly. As poor as we played, right. we're down 10 nothing. So so let's go play well, and that's and we'll flip this thing around, and we'll go win this thing in the fourth quarter, and that's what we did. Coach, on our Palmetto Health injury report, I saw one of your offensive linemen, a key one, go down early in the ball game. First play of the game, Donnell Stanley has a high ankle sprain. I don't know how long he'll be out. Dr. Guy and, uh, and Clint Hager will look at him and see, see where he needs to do. Everybody else pretty healthy, though? Yeah, we, I th so far, so good. That's our Palmetto Health injury report. When we come back on the Will Muschamp Show, we'll have highlights from here in Vanderbilt. Will's first win in the Gamecock era for Will Muschamp. We'll be back in just a moment. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build even if challenging times get in their way. When you need us most, we're there, and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Witness pregame warm-ups from the sidelines. Winners receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. No! the final days of the Ford Freedom sales event, and the deals just got better. Just announced 0% financing plus 500 Labor Day cash across the entire 2016 Ford lineup. And specially tagged vehicles get an extra 1,000 smart bonus cash. Freedom from interest and freedom to choose with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Get 0 for 72 and 500 Labor Day cash on F-Series, and first responders get an additional 2,000 first responder bonus cash at your Carolina Ford dealer. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Get your official 2016 Gamecock Game Day t-shirt to show your South Carolina Gamecock pride from the following retailers, Kmart, JCPenney, Walmart, Dollar General, Academy Sports and Outdoors, Cracker Barrel, Costco, Sears, Ace Fanatics, Paradise, The Fan Zone, and William and Taylor. Hey, welcome back to Gamecocks Big Winners tonight in Nashville. What a relief, the season opener on the road in the SEC, an Eastern Division rival, 13-10 the final score. Let's go out to our highlights now. 
presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Gorgeous night for football, Coach. Absolutely. It's a wonderful night. Didn't start very well, special teams especially. we got to get some things cleaned up on our kickoff return, and Debo missed, missed that. Well, that's the first time he's done that in a, in a live game situation. We come back out defensively and, and really needed a stop and really did a nice job on the screen play to force them to, to kick a field goal. So that's a really sudden change situation. Defense goes out, calms down, shuffle pass right there on third and 13. I'm really proud of our defensive players to go out and make the plays. Openshaw comes in, does kick this 36 yard field goal, but man, it was a big relief where your team no. didn't panic at all, no. made big tackles, hold it to three. And uh, now you're back on. They ran a lot of two tight end set, and this big guy, Ralph Webb, the whole time. Good football player, and they, they hurt us with the, with the stretch extra outside with the fullback. We got out leveraged, and really here we should have been fine. The backer ended up falling back on the play. Uh, we, we needed to stop that third down. We needed to hold them to a field goal right there, and that enabled them to go to 10 points on the board. And our kids did a nice job of fighting down here, man. There's some nice licks being thrown in there. We got to get our pad level a little down. Uh, play a little better in those situations. But again, we, we, we got to get on field on third down. That's what led to this. And that was one of the first plays of the second quarter. You started forcing punts, though, at this point. And this was a 21-yard punt that gave your team great field position, trying to capitalize and get something done. Here's Brandon McElwain. Brandon really played well in the game. It's a nice job here on the screen. They, we've got an option down the field. He checks it down to Brian. Brian had eight catches, 101 yards. True freshman. And he's just going to keep getting better. Really played well. But we just got to take care of the football. We're in a a really good situation. You see here, Brandon, the play breaks down. He's able to create something for our football team. He's going to continue to do that, and we just got to secure the ball better. You know, in this situation, I believe here, we got the first down. Their, their number 20 does a good job of stripping the ball, uh, but that's points off the board, and we can't, we're can't. we not going to be good enough to overcome that as we move forward. Yeah, Brandon with 29 rushing yards on the night, but those turnovers hurt, and that's halftime down 10 nothing. And as you said, hey, listen, it could have been a lot worse, yeah. six or seven Should've penalties, been. two Two turnovers, you got a chance to break it. And there's one guy who can break it for you, AJ Turner, but another penalty. Actually, the only one of the second half. Only one of the second half, and but 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 a really nice job. We felt like we could pop the inside zone on them. Our line did a really good job of blocking it, and we just got to clean up our hands a little bit. But a couple of huge third down conversions in the second half. They were sitting on a lot of routes, and uh, and our guys did a nice job of converting. Perry threw the ball extremely well. Again, great protection up front. Really nice corner ball there to Debo to get us down to a field goal situation. When you have a guy like Elliott, you know when you get to the 35-yard line, you, you got three points in your hand. And so that, that's a big positive momentum. We needed that right there to get a little positive things going. Third quarter, 6-16 to go, but you cut it to a seven-point game. You get backed up here on a play that got over yeah. Debo's head on a bounce. But Brian Edwards, what a catch. <laughs> Actually, I've seen him do that I, in yeah, camp a lot, well, but not many people can. I taught him how to do, do that. that. You know, no, no Gamecock fan believes that. But, wow. Uh, great. We, we stall, stall on the drive. A uh, really good job by Tavares Robinson calling the corner pressure to the speed sweep. We get a big stop right there. We got a little bootleg again. You see Brian making a move, making a guy miss. Yards after the catch, so important. Uh, he's a really good football player. He's just going to keep getting better. But we're getting some momentum with the football. We're, we're running the ball we're running the ball well. We hit the third down conversion right there to KC. Caught the ball off his body well. We, need to, we had too many drops in the game. Really nice job right here. A.J. Turner's got really good hands, and he's a guy in space that can make some people miss and really excited excited about him moving forward. That was his first game playing as a Gamecock. Uh, here you got the uh, outside down around. Again, we got to get him in space more. Uh, really good downfield block, and those, that's what creates explosive plays. And then we get here with the speed sweep. A really nice job by Brian Kraken, David Williams getting a block on the edge, and Debo being a really good player. It was finally nice to see him get his hands on the football and use that athletic ability we've all seen in the fall, diving for the pylon. The extra point, Elliot Fry still good in his career. It's 10-10 going to the fourth quarter. Well, we, we made a stop here, and, and they did a better job on their protection. But we got good pressure all night, and I think that affected them a little bit. And that was a huge, you know, obviously turning point in the game. We hit the quick slant right here to Brian off an RPO. He splits them. He gains 15. It's a way to stick the ball in there and get a first down. Tough yardage. Uh, really another nice inside run to AJ. He splits them again for another first down, but yards after contact. That's a 180-pounder putting his pads down. And then we put Elliott in, and I, you know, I knew he was going to make it. I mean, he's, he's good. We've put him in that situation in camp. How many times you've seen it, and he makes them all. How about Perry Ortho? Loses a yard. He makes it a 55-yarder yeah. instead of 54. And your hero, a longest kick of his career. That's a 55-yarder. And the Gamecocks hold on with about 35 seconds to go. 
and win it 13 to 10. Coach, congratulations. That's your fifth straight as a head coach uh, season opening win and the eighth straight over Vanderbilt, the longest in the streak. When we come back on the Will Muschamp Show, we'll visit with the Bentleys. They're pretty important around Gamecock football. While the Gamecocks are on the road, all fans are invited to join George Rogers at the Wild Wing Cafe in the Vista for the official watch party. There'll be drawings for great prizes, drink specials offered, and the away games on every TV. Carolina and Clemson haven't agreed on much since 1896. It's a healthy multi-sport rivalry. And this year, every Carolina-Clemson matchup is part of the second annual certified SC Grown Palmetto Series. So while Gamecocks and Tigers each support their team, we can all support local farmers by purchasing certified SC Grown products. Just look for the certified SC Grown label where you shop and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. Good or better? The Hyundai Santa Fe Sport versus the Ford Edge. Should we be wearing helmets? The Santa Fe Sport has an available multi-view camera system. The Edge doesn't. What was that? On the Hyundai, available auto emergency braking. On the Ford, nope. Hey, what's with the axe? And only the, the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Oh, no, 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 no. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. I'm out. The 2017 oh. Santa Fe Sport from Hyundai. It's the final days of the Ford Freedom Sales Event, and the deals just got better. Just announced 0% financing plus 500 Labor Day cash across the entire 2016 Ford lineup. And specially tagged vehicles get an extra 1,000 smart bonus cash. Freedom from interest and freedom to choose with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Get 0 for 72 and 500 Labor Day cash on F-Series, and first responders get an additional 2,000 first responder bonus cash at your Carolina Ford dealer. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that SAFE Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. Welcome back. Some names you've been hearing about are in the same family of Carolina football. Bobby Bentley, the running backs coach, and his son Jake, who committed. He went out early from his high school career to join the Gamecocks. We had a chance to visit with both of them. Coach, I'll, I'll start with you. A native of South Carolina, grew up in, uh, uh, in the upstate, been working at one of the upstate powerhouse schools in Burns. Uh, we're a Presbyterian graduate. You know the state of South Carolina very well. What is it uh, like being now coaching at, at the flagship university? Well, it's tremendous. It's um, been a dream come true, really. Uh, a, a dream that was just uh, unbelievable to know that this would happen and to be able to um, coach Jake and have uh, the family close by because we're not used to that with, uh, with our other boys and they're so far away at their colleges. And, but uh, it's been great for us as a family. Jake? What a whirlwind for you. Right now, you could be on the campus of high school in Alabama, getting ready to prepare for your senior year, and now you're at the University of South Carolina, right in the mix uh, at the quarterback position. How has that transition been, and what is it like being here with your father and your family? It's been great. Um, there's a lot of great guys in the room, uh, Brandon and Perry, they're, they've really taken me in and took the time to make sure I learned the whole system. Um, and just being back home for me um, was a big deal. Moving to Alabama um, taught me a lot, but um, it's, it's, it's good to come back home, like you said, be close with the family. Um, you know, it's just going to be great being with him and just working together to, uh, to win championships. How do you walk the fine line from being a supporting coach, yet firm, and then not being an obsessed father? It, it really hasn't been a problem with the, guy, with the, the guys at all. Um, you know, they've been around so many good players uh, throughout their career. Uh, it kind of naturally happened. And I know that it sounds like it just, you know, not a laissez-faire attitude, but I, I did never try to live my life through them. So therefore, they were always working hard at it with me not having to say a whole lot about it. They just knew they had to lift weights. They knew they had to run. They knew they had to do the speed and agility drills. 
with Coach Schrock, and, and just growing up, they just knew that's what they were supposed to do. They didn't know any different. Now, obviously, Paulette at home would sometimes say, that's enough. And then she'd say, that's enough, or give me that look. I knew to kind of tone it down. Jake, do you ever remember going, hey, hold up, or ease up, Dad, give me 10 minutes, let me decompress? We'd be at practice, and we'd make a mistake, and he would get on us at practice, after practice. And then when we're eating dinner, he would say something again, and that's about the time Mom would be like, okay, let's talk about something else. That's when you but, want to uh, spend the night at the buddy's house. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the flip side of that, though, it really made us, all my brothers, who we are today, though, and um, just, just to be great. Um, you know, he pushed us to be great in everything, not just football, but as far as school and just living life. Um, uh, it just really pushed us to be the best. What made you decide to come out, not go for your senior year, and come and commit to the University of South Carolina? Um, well, as you can tell, you know, we're a real close-knit family, and, um, you know, there's no way that I was going to be able to stay in Opelika with him here and m Mom having to choose. I, I really didn't want to break up our family um, like that, and, and I felt I was ready. Um, I felt I was ready to come and come into a place like this where, you know, I have a chance to play. Um, and with great coaches and with Coach Muschamp coming in and really creating something special here, I just felt like it was the, uh, the right time to come. There's the Bentleys, Bobby and Jake, a father-son team at the University of South Carolina. Gamecock football is now in their blood. Thanks for joining us, guys. Now at Bilo, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Bilo and pick up all of your game day essentials. Bilo, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. It's the final days of Nissan's bottom line summer event. Now save big with 0% for up to 72 months on 13 models and no payments for 90 days. Plus get up to 3,000 bonus cash. Get to your local Nissan store today. Hurry, offers end soon. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! If it wasn't for the University of South Carolina, we never would have started it. We had an idea for a new way to create digital trees for video games and movies. So we decided to start SpeedTree through the USC Technology Incubator. Now, our software has been used in more than 50 feature films. The fact that a couple of USC grads can have such a huge impact on Hollywood and even win an Academy Award, that's what No Limits means to us. Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. Good hard work has earned Tyler Johnson the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the baseball team, Johnson is a junior exercise science major with a 3.773 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. From 55 yards away, all SEC selection, Elliot Fry. Up in the air, and deep into the night, good! Welcome back to the Will Muschamp Show. The Gamecocks go to 1-0, Will Muschamp 1-0 in his career at South Carolina. That was our Sandsbury Ice Center. Did you see that play? All kinds of drama 
as Elliott Fry kicks a 55-yard field goal to go up 13-10 with 35 seconds to go. Coach, take us through not only praising him, your thought process there as you were kind of motoring down, letting the clock go there late in the fourth quarter. Well, we felt very good from the 38-yard line in, and we were right at the 36-yard line. I told Rope, I said, I feel good about where he is. He hit him in pregame. We always look at that and chart that in pregame to see how where he feels good. Uh, I didn't anticipate us losing the yard, but but uh, what we did. And so Elliott went out there, ice in his veins, and hit the kick, and it was a great kick for all the Gamecocks. People at home were listening to the Gamecock Radio Network. It was swirling a little bit in the stadium, too. There was some wind out there. Elliott Fry is our uh, player of the game. Congratulations. Now our Terminex Pest player of the game. you got a couple guys you've been thinking about, including Elliott Fry. Well, Elliott, obviously, the game-winning field goal, but that's somewhat of expected here at South Carolina. He's kicked so well for us over the years. But Brian Edwards, a true freshman, eight catches, 101 yards, and some big catches. I mean, really big catches. But I also want to comment Perry Orth. I mean, this is a guy that had some drops. Uh, we wanted to change some things up with Brandon coming in the game, and, and, and I thought he came in the second half and really responded the right way uh, to help us win the football game. Yeah, because of the drops, I think he started like one for six, and it ended up really productive. was five of five on that scoring drive you have was Perry Orth. Congratulations. That was our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you say the play for Elliott Fry and our Terminex Pest player of the game, those three folks the coach just mentioned. Now it's time to hear our Hyundai Sights and Sound. A new era of Carolina football begins. For the first time in the last 12 season openers, the head ball coach Steve Spurrier will not be roaming the sidelines for Carolina. But be assured, the Gamecocks have come to the Music City with some fire. Will Muschamp is making his debut as the head coach for the Garnet and Black tonight. It's Carolina versus Vanderbilt to open the 2016 season. off the right hash mark. Sean Kelly holding, they put it down for him. It's up, it's clear, and it's trying to make it. It's good! Elliott Fry gets the Gamecocks their first point, points of the year, and they cut this thing to seven. Here comes Debo in motion. Sweep, speed sweep, got a blocker. Trying for the pylon, diving. Call it, touchdown Carolina. Touchdown Debo Samuel. From eight yards out, Debo gets the first touchdown of the Will Muschamp era. An extra point get tied up in the fourth quarter in Nashville. With 3.50 to go, snap is high. They put it down, he kicks it up, plenty of distance. Yanked it, he yanked it. And Fry lines up for a 55-yard field goal off the left hash mark. Snap it back to Kelly. Put it down. Kick it up. Good enough. distance. Turning a little bit. He's got it. Elliot Fry just kicked a 55-yard <laughs> field goal. Can you believe it? But you can't coach on guts. And you can't coach on being relentless. And you can't coach on toughness. Yeah. Amen. And that's what you showed tonight. Yes, sir. We're sir. Keep doing that, man. Yes, that's sir. what this program is about. Three, 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 four, five, six. Turn up. Yes, Now, Gamecocks everywhere can support their beloved university year-round at the USC Alumni Center. Our spirit capital is the place to support student learning, connect to each other, and advocate for Carolina, no matter where you are in the world. Alumni, students, faculty, staff, and fans, we are ready to welcome you home. Visit mycarolina.org and stay connected forever to be. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that SAFE Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. 
final days of Nissan's Bottom Line Summer Event. Now save big with 0% for up to 72 months on 13 models and no payments for 90 days. Plus, get up to 3,000 bonus cash. Get to your local Nissan store today. Hurry, offers end soon. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! I'm Jamie Foxx for Verizon. In the nation's largest independent study by Root Metrics, again, Verizon is the number one network. Hi, I'm Jamie Foxx for Sprint. And I'm Jamie Foxx for T-Mobile. And, and we're, we're just, just as good. good. Really? Only Verizon was ranked number one nationally in data, reliability, text, and call, and speed. Yeah. And you're gonna fist pump today? Get, get out of my sight. Don't get fooled by cut rate networks. Get the best. And now get up to four free Samsung Galaxy phones, four lines, and 16 gigs for just 150. Only on Verizon. Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry, no. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back to Gamecocks. Get a big victory tonight on the road in the SEC. Now it's time for our keys to the game. Brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. And uh, Coach, what an environment. I always love it to start off the season on Thursday night or everybody watching this down to the last minute. Congratulations again about that. Um, Mississippi State, since Dak Prescott's gone, I know nothing about that football team other than they're usually tough under Coach Mullen. Well, Dan Mullen's done a fantastic job, the best run in Mississippi State history. Uh, we've got to do a really good job on the perimeter game as far as the bubble screens and the quick screens and those things. And they got three quarterbacks. I'm not real sure. We'll know probably more after Saturday about what direction they're headed as far as that's concerned. But they've recruited well. they got good players. I saw you go over to the fans at the end of the night uh, tonight. What a great crowd it was. I know that helped your football team. There's no doubt. They made a difference for our football team in the second half. The most tickets, I believe, in South Carolina history sold to come to Nashville on a Thursday night. That tells you a lot about our fan base, the loyalty, the passion that they have for the Gamecocks. It's awesome. And that was awesome. He's Will Muschamp. He's 1-0 for South Carolina. The Gamecocks 1-0 on the season. Go on the road next Saturday. Don't forget, of course, we'll have our call-in show on Thursday night at the Wild Wing Cafe. And Coach Muschamp and I will be back throughout the Southeast on his television show. We'll see you from Mississippi State.